What's up everyone? Welcome back to some more Oxygen Not Included Max Difficulty. We're on episode... Uh... I don't even... We're like 9 or 10, I think? I don't even know, man. They're all mashing together at this point, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and hit play and get everything rolling. <clears throat> the last episode we did end up ending on sort of the... Kind of finishing our... The first half of our little greenhouse area here. Uh, one thing you might notice is that I didn't leave room for a farm station, and that's because all of my planning has been around not using a farm station. <clears throat> one thing I dislike about the farm station is that it takes fertilizer. Fertilizer's kind of a pain to make and fabricate, and then it's more more things your dupes have to do, basically. And, well, we don't really need to do that. We can just use more space, more water, and uh, produce more plants, basically, and, and cover cover the the food that way not to worry about it so we're just kind of finishing up the last little building blocks here i guess we could pump this out and also get the wheeze warts going Ooh, one thing i forgot about i can't really pump this out because i don't have actually i do have the i was gonna say i don't have the transit tubes but i do have the transit tubes and i probably have enough plastic to make a little system here let's see i did rearrange this plastic did I ever set these? So if it's below 7 degrees, it'll run. Oh wait, these should not be the same. So we're going to say... How cold is it over here? Oh, it's actually quite toasty. I bet it's just because we're running the metal refinery so much. Uh-oh. You know, what? Once this starts running towards my plants, this should... Uh... That's why it's so toasty. It's because we're not actually running the uh, polluted water through here right now. Because we're backed up. Our line's backed up. Because I stopped the vent here from... Uh, dripping the overflow out long commutes oh i forgot about the entire like daily report rework we'll have to maybe look into that at some point i don't know if we'll do it this episode i might do it like off episode that way i'm i'm kind of familiar with it when i'm talking about it but uh yeah let's see so we've got this thing backed up so we just need to get our plants running you know we can just build these pipes out of like sandstone or even granite honestly because it's fine if they actually <clears throat> influence the air temperature in here i think we can always replace them later if that's not the case and if i remember correctly there was something in the patch notes about hydroponic tiles not like backing up if you have a pipe like this or something so we're gonna try it we may have to uh change it later i don't know but we're gonna do this and then we're gonna say come up this way and then come through here we'll just do it like i always do we're gonna insert a shut off here and we're gonna only allow enough water through to where it, it waters everything. Like everything has enough water per day. And then we'll just set it on a loop so the water just continuously circulates. Ooh, we get some, uh, I can't look what this egg is. Molten larva egg, but this egg is, won't let me click on it. It's mystery egg, nobody knows. How's this area doing? I haven't checked it since I sort of ceramic it in. Still hot, still nice and hot. We've got a lot of temperature over here we could do something with potentially. So let's go ahead and take this plumbing. Is this ceramic? I believe it is ceramic. It should be ceramic. The ceramic up until here, and then we can do granite like that. But it's not gonna actually be here because we're gonna need a, a clock sensor with a valve here. Okay, so how are we gonna do the entrance to this thing? Cause we wanna pump all this polluted oxygen out. Obviously you don't want your food sitting in polluted oxygen. It de deteriorates faster that way, but we will have sweepers. So it's not really gonna be sitting in here, but we, we want carbon dioxide in here just in case something happens. Maybe we have a power outage or like, I don't know, a wire breaks or something. And our, our sweepers don't have any power for a little bit. We want this, these plants sitting in carbon dioxide. So we're gonna plan on using a transit tube system to enter into this. The problem being, I want the transit tube system at the top of this. And I still have the cooling area, cooling room right here. And then two, like another one of these above the cooling area for our sleet wheat. And then above that is where our transit tube's gonna go. So like that's a lot of digging and building in order to get to that point. So maybe I just stick the transit tube system like above the cooling room for now and then expand it later because we're not going to be growing sleet wheat for a while. So that's what I'm going to do, I think. Okay, so let's kind of figure out how this is going to go. Uh, I'm not going to use sto steel doors because it's it's a little bit too expensive. I think iron's going to be fine for what we need to do here. So we're going to go iron, iron, iron door like that. 
And then we need to do more tiles. Now these don't have to be insulated ceramic. In fact, they don't even have to be insulated, I don't think. They can just be whatever. But we'll just use regular igneous rock tiles. If There we go. So we'll just use regular igneous rock tiles here. And if you didn't watch the last episode and don't know what I'm doing here, I'm basically creating a cold room above this. And then we're going to be using doors to transfer or to cool the the bristle area down to a certain point. And then obviously once it's at that point, we'll open the doors, stopping the transfer. That's the idea anyway. I, I think I talked about this last episode because I'm not sure how many sleep wheat I'm going to need in here. Or bleh, how many wheeze wort I'm going to need in there. Probably, I, I don't know, honestly. If I had to guess, I would say like four. This is kind of all I can really do right now is just get my my proper bristle blossom farm up and running because that's kind of important so we can get away from millwood and it'll also let us it, it'll make us more productive because our dupes will spend less time eating uh, oh yeah i forgot that this thing can actually spawn me other stuff sandstone so here's the thing is there any reason for me not to take the sandstone like is there really any reason for me not to take it i don't want another duplicate right now although I might look into that as soon as my bristle farm's done. I might look into getting like eight duplicates because if I'm really trying to get the rockets fast, I'm going to need more duplicates to build things quicker and get things done. You know, as the base expands, there's going to be more tasks that need to get done. But anyway, yeah, I don't think there's any reason not to take the sandstone. So I'm just going to take it. Um, if you're not taking a dupe, I don't see why you wouldn't take the excess of whatever it gives you. Still got our one spawn here, which is, ooh, it's actually... Not quite. I mean, this this area is oxygenated quite well, which is what we want. And you know what? We could get some airflow tiles or some mesh tiles. That would help greatly. Let's just put one here. And uh, this door is permanently open, so this is fine. Yeah, so this is kind of the area where most the time is spent as far as duplicates go. So I'm not really going to worry about more oxygen yet. We do also have the oxygen diffuser here set up to a thousand grams. So it'll turn on if it drops below a thousand grams of pressure, kind of give us a little more oxygen for running out. We do have like eight tons of algae, so it's not like we're using a lot of that. Okay, what over here, what over here? So we need one more layer. It, it does kind of take up a lot of room to do it this way, but, um, and I know there's, you can also like set the wheeze wards on top of doors and then deactivate the doors to deactivate the wheeze wards. But that doesn't always work. Specifically, if the door is like open and closed too quickly, the wheeze ward doesn't actually have time to recognize that it's turned off or whatever. And sometimes the doors will open and the wheeze ward will continue to cool. So we're not going to do it that way. Plus, a benefit of doing it this way is that even when we're not cooling the room, the wheeze wards can continue to cool this area which means we'll have a bigger difference between this temperature and the temperature in our cooling room, which means we'll be able to cool this place down faster. Uh, we'll also have like sort of a, a, a surplus of cooling potential stored up. That way, you know, if anything ever like overheats, for, maybe we pump hot water in here accidentally or something, which shouldn't ever happen. But, uh, you know, maybe if it did, we would have like a surplus of cooling potential that we could not worry about. So let's do igneous rock on the outside here. Not that we have to, just that it will look nice. You know what? Maybe we don't want to do this yet because we got to make sure to put our auto automation in first. Um, the question is, where do we want the automation? So we're going to have, I think, three different sensors here. Instead of just one localized thermal sensor for all three doors, I think we'll have three. So that sounds good to me. So let's go. Let's just put it like right next to the tile. Let's just do this. We can always change these these later. So we'll do something like this. Oh, you know what I realized? I'm gonna have to deconstruct this. There we go. Uh, Cause they can't actually get to these bottom tiles here to build the, the wires. Uh, they should be able to build them. They should be able to build these in the room though. Okay, so what we're gonna need is thermo sensors now. Make sure they're made out of iron. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so yeah, each thermo sensor will control each door. And that way we kind of have a, a gradient effect where if it's too hot over here, we're only cooling this area. And um, it's a little more precise that way. I know this isn't very precise at all because we've got a whole room down here that's kind of, 
you know, slowly trickling the 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 heat up or whatever, but it's fine. This should work out uh, for what we need it. So. What about the transit tubes? We could start building transit tubes right now. And how much plastic do I have? Not any, really. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to plug this thing in. Jeez, what am I doing? All right, plug that in and deconstruct that wire. And then this. So where's my memory toggle? So I want it to be active if so if it gets above 30 degrees and if it gets below like 20 there we go so this this guy right here isn't going to be producing plastic for us until we get our bristle farm going because again our cooling line here is frozen because well it's not frozen it's paused because this line is backed up so we have nowhere for this water to go and also we're not producing steel because of that how much steel do I actually have? 100 kilograms. So we have very little steel. But all we needed was enough for this thermo aqua tuner. And then everything else is fine. Oh, you know what? We definitely want some auto sweepers. Do we not have... Oh, we need solid transport researched. And one thing I forgot to check. I was worried I left somebody in like a higher position to build the, uh, the steam turbine. And then just forgot about them. But that was not the case. All right, so we've got our automation wires built, so we can actually cover this up now. With regular igneous, Oop, like that, and then we can go insulated on here, 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 and here. There we go. So there's our cooling room done. Uh, well, not done, but that's that's the hardest part, right? You have to build it kind of layer by layer. So where do we want the weeswarts? I imagine we want the weeswarts right above can you put a wheeze board in a wall pot or a hanging pot i doubt it i have some hanging pots let me look yeah there's not enough room for him i'd have to uproot one. Oh wait here's one. Oh wait it lets us but hold the phone we can put wheeze words in wall pots potentially i mean I don't know how relevant that is to this, but it's kind of interesting. I still like, I still like the fact that you can't rotate the wall, the wall pot. <laughs> it can only go on the left side of the wall. This is it's so weird to me. Like there's so so many things in the games can rotate, but the wall pot they were just like nah, <laughs> forget it. We'll we'll just let it be a left side only wall pot. I suppose here's the thing. I suppose you could kind of like double up on the wheeze warts this way. So if I went, if I went like uh, a flower pot, right? So if I had like wheeze warts here, so this is this is probably where the wheeze warts are gonna go. Do I need this many wheeze warts? Probably not, but we can leave the pots. It's fine. And then, so we had something like that, and then we did something like that. We could like double up vertically on the wheeze warts, right? Which could be kind of cool. I don't want to build that though. So yeah, let's get rid of it. Uh, boom, boom. So yeah, we'll plan for like a potential of six Wii Sports. Probably not going to get that many in here, but we'll just plan for that many. That way, if I need more cooling, I can crack in and, you know, do the dealio. One thing I'm going to have to do is... Uh, I was going to say I have to build a water seal, but no, I don't have to do that because I'm going to vacuum this entire place out. So how big do we want our cooling room? Well, it's going to have to be big enough for sculpting blocks. Because sculpting blocks are going to... Okay, so... Wow, these are actually shorter than... I'm kind of tempted to make ice blocks, honestly. But if it ever heats up and... Oh, what am I doing? I forgot the freaking metal tiles here. I'm a doofus. Um, yeah, if it ever heats up to the point where the ice blocks melt, then it kind of ruins everything. But it should technically never get that hot in there. But without automation to make sure it doesn't get that hot, I'm a little skeptical about putting them in. So we're going to set these to uh, 7 degrees. So if it's below 7 degrees, yeah. Below 7 degrees is fine. Um, we might have to adjust that later, but we'll leave it right there for now. Uh, wart seed. Uh-oh. I think the wart seed replanted itself. Kind of an annoyance. Uh, we're also going to have to discover more wart seeds because we only have one and we're going to need more than one. So do we have... 
have we uncovered another cold biome anywhere? It's not looking like it. Okay, so where is our ceiling going to be? Now, I think the uh, the metal blocks or the metal sculpting blocks are actually three tiles high. But if we're just using granite, then we can put the ceiling at right here. And again, we're going to have more plants above. So we need to have this triple tile layer the same on the top as we do on the bottom here. And then, yeah, let's just make these sculpting blocks. I think these will do fine. Let's go ahead and set this at a wart seed at a priority nine. And then we'll copy the settings for these. So we're only gonna, we're gonna start with three for now. And then later we'll adjust that. So currently, how many weeds warts am I using? So I've got three up here. Once we get rid of the spawn, it could be nice. And then we've got one, two, three down here. So that's six weeds warts we've got. There's gotta be more. There's gotta be more. There's usually like 12. So pepper nut gone. So now we need a liquid shut off here like that with a clock sensor. Okay, so we've got one ways work cooling in here currently, which isn't gonna do anything. We need to pump this out and pump hydrogen in once this is all closed off. Um, but we'll need three ways works before we do any of that. So um, do we take ways works from over here? I wanna say, no yeah i need i need to just finish this farm plant a bunch of bristle blossoms and then bring in another dupe that's what i need to do that's the plan stan there's our egg this is uh we never named the 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 poor hatch that died did we you know what the hatch never had a life so it, it never got to even hatch the poor hatch never got to hatch so can't really give an egg a name that's kind of weird so we're not we're not going to name it at this point it's just it's just the hatch that died the hatch that never was. Ooh, more stuff. Muckroot. Sure, it's free food. Why not, dude? Yeah, why not? Now, the way I set this up, I believe, was so that two auto sweepers could handle the entire thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, we're gonna have to move this. Boom, yeah, so two auto sweepers can cover the entire thing. Oh, wait a minute. Did I do this incorrectly? Oh, I did it incorrectly. Uh I wanted one I wanted one loader for both of these. And for that they would have to have an overlapping tile. We're kind of stuck with this, so we'll we'll just do two loaders. Uh, it's not gonna be as pretty as I wanted it to be. Well, it's got to be uniform, so we're going to have to deconstruct this as well. It just has to be. There's no... You can't... All right, it has to be uniform. I'm sorry. Okay. Crisis avoided. So, not as evenly spaced on the thermal sensors as, as I wanted, or not the original layout I wanted anyway, but it'll work out fine. Oh, no. I didn't actually want... You know what? Whatever. We'll let Ellie do that, sure. She still gets practice on the skill, which means she'll do it faster. Eventually, it's kind of a waste of time, you could argue, but meh. It doesn't reduce the mass, right? No, mass is still 200, so it's fine. We'll just, we'll let her, we'll let her go sculpt hearts to her heart's content. Maybe we should run a gas pipe, because I know I'm going to put, yeah, that's what we should do. So, I know I'm going to be putting hydrogen in here, eventually. I'm just going to run a gas pipe down here, and holy cow, that's a long run. Um, so, yeah, we're going to pump this room full of hydrogen. You know what we could do? We could pump this hydrogen down there as well. Did they already get this? Holy cow, they got the gas pipe built fast. We got our printing pot again. Let's see what we got. A hatch! A hatchling! Should we print? We, we should print them. Um, look at it. How can we not print this cute little hatchling? Yes. Give me a hatchling. Oh, that looks uncomfortable. I suppose it does have like a hard like an exoskeleton, right? So a, a pointy rock, sleeping on a pointy rock is uh, not the worst thing for the hatch. What is going on? Wait, did it just, is it stuck on top of, okay, there it goes. That was kind of weird. Oh, look at it. It's already producing coal for us. What a nice little hatch. Should we name it? Should we name the hatch? I'm gonna name it Scooter. He looks like a scooter. I like how they changed the gases too. So the gases are like, 
They're now on top of it, of every layer, but they've got like a transparency to them. It looks really good. Clay is just like on point with their uh, with their updates, man. There's always something that I just love about their updates. There's never been an update where I'm just like, meh, meh, it's okay, meh. They're always good, always good updates. We're gonna need plastic to be able to make our transit system. And that's not gonna get up and running until my cooling system gets ready, which is not gonna get up and running until my bristle blossoms get up and running, which is not gonna get up and running until I have my transit system up and running. So we actually need to make plastic some other way. And I'm thinking maybe I just turn this, this event back on. But the problem is, did you make a friend, Rickster? I think Rickster's rubbing off on the other Slicksters. Everybody wants to be like Rickster. <laughs> kind of looks cool. It's like, uh, I feel drunk. I'm seeing tracers. Is there only one there, or is there only two? It almost looks like there's three. But there's only two. Huh. I think we're just going to start growing the bristle blossoms and uh, people are just going to have to sweep them or they're going to rot, you know, that's that's going to have to be the rough life of our, I forgot, Joshua? I think Joshua is our farmhand, yeah. Joshua's our farmer here. Farming skill of 17? Woo! Joshua, man, you are on the ball. How's everybody else doing? 12, 11, 14? I bet, you know what, I bet, Ru ooh, 19 on Ru on uh, Liam here. I bet if Ruby was still alive, Ruby would have the highest skill of them all. Rest in peace, Ruby. Uh-oh. Hold on here. There's supposed to be, yeah, uh, crap. So we need this thermal opportunity to shut off when we've got enough water in the pipe. Ooh, this is bad. Okay, hold on. We have to pause here. You know what? No, 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 no. This, this should work okay. This should work okay. I hope. <laughs> if not, we're going to have a disaster. We're going to have a disaster on our hands. Because what's going to happen, I think, if, if, it, if, I'm, if I'm wrong, what would happen is that this sensor would stay on permanently, but this water would have nowhere to go. So water would continue to flow into this reservoir, but not out. Um, so then we're going to have issues with the reservoir itself. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think this will be fine. Maybe I am wrong. I need to think about this for a sec. I didn't think this through quite well, did I? I should have the storage tank in here. Classic oxygen not included. You you have a plan and then nothing goes to plan and then your plan's ruined and then you just have to adapt and nothing is as perfect as you originally wanted it to be. Feels good, man. So if you're wondering what the uh, the sculptures are for, I didn't, I don't know, I don't think I properly explained it. So they've got two, a mass of 200 kilograms. They're made of granite. So they have a pretty good uh, conductivity and heat capacity to them. Uh, so basically, they're they're only here, here so we can hold more potential cooling in this room. So if we just pump it full of hydrogen, then you know all we've got is the hydrogen. But if we have add a little more mass to it, then we've actually got a little more sort of like temperature batteries, so we can store more cooling power within these sculptures. So this is where our transit tube is going to go for now Ooh, one thing i didn't think about i'm thinking that when i actually have to go to replace this transit tube we're going to leak a little bit of like polluted oxygen in here but you know what i don't think we will because i think this area is going to be over pressurized with carbon dioxide so it's fine that's that's all my plastic <laughs> and i have to make a run i mean i don't i guess i don't have to run like all the way up here but i kind of want to right Kind of want to, um, but for now we can just like stick it right here and just do like a just a really short gap because I don't have a lot of plastic. So this pipe here is actually in my way. So get out of there. Plumbing. I need to shut off here. Just go something like this, and then this pipe. That's the system, and then we just need a clock sensor. Right here is fine, which connects to that. Okay. So that's how we're gonna have to do it. I think that will be it. All right, so things didn't quite work out how I want them to. They never do, right? They, they, they never work out however you want them to, so. But we ended up making a lot of progress on our 
uh, greenhouse area. Here it is, cycle 280, which means that is the end of this episode. So if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up. If you have any ideas, questions, suggestions, anything like that, if you just want to say hi, put it in the comments down below. I do respond to all of it. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.